Hi, this is Dr. Hayek, and in this video, we'll be talking about labeling stereogenic centers with R or S. Since enantiomers are two different compounds, they need to be distinguished by names. This is done by adding the prefix R or S to the IUPAC name of the enantiomer. To designate enantiomers as R or S, priorities must be assigned to each group bonded to the stereogenic center in order of decreasing atomic number. The atom of highest atomic number gets the highest priority. Therefore, in this example in here, the Br is the atom with the highest atomic number, then it gets the priority number one. Then the Cl, it gets the priority number two, the fluorine it gets the priority number three and of course hydrogen since, uh, since it has the lowest atomic number in the periodic table will always get the priority number four let's consider another example now where we have different substituents so we have hydrogen here ch3 here we have CH2, CH3, and here we have an OH. Now to assign priorities for this example, now we know that oxygen has the highest atomic number which is 8 compared to carbons here or hydrogen here. So this will get the number one priority. Now for hydrogen, it has the lowest atomic number, so we know that it's going to get the number four priority. The question now is number two, it goes to which carbon? To this carbon or to this carbon in here? The CH3 could be written as C and then you have three H's attached to it. So the sum of the atomic numbers of the three substituents is equal to three, since one, one, and one. However, this carbon here, it could be written as C, H, H, and the C. And therefore, the sum of atomic numbers for the C and the two hydrogens is equal to eight. So one plus six, seven plus one, Eight. Therefore, the ethyl substituent gets the number two priority and the methyl gets the number three priority. Now, if we have different isotopes like tritium, deuterium, and hydrogen, now we know that tritium is the hydrogen one, three, the deuterium is the hydrogen one, two, and hydrogen is H1 and 1. Now, all isotopes, they have the same atomic number, which is 1. However, they have different atomic masses. For isotopes, we proceed by atomic masses, and we give the highest atomic mass the highest priority. So it gets number 1, deuterium gets number 2, and hydrogen comes in a third position and gets number 3. Now let's consider another example, which is the C, O, H, H, C, O, O, H, and C, H, 2, O, H. Now we said that oxygen will always get a higher priority over carbons, and therefore the O, H gets the number one. Hydrogen gets the priority number four. The question is now which carbon gets number number two and which carbon gets number three? For that, we need to look at, at the substituents on each carbon. So for this carbon, this could be written as so hydrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. However, for this carbon, it could be written as C, double bond O, O.
So therefore, now looking at these two, the double bond could be read as C O O and this is the oxygen this one and so we split the double bond and we write a carbon on one of the oxygens and therefore this carbon is substituted to three oxygens versus this carbon which is substituted uh, with one oxygen and two hydrogens therefore this gets a priority number two and this carbon here priority number three.